Hello everyone. Today I will introduce our research about strong model by optimizer of flexi unit model for our flat concept understanding. My name is Chong Hanli from Wong Park Global Tech. Uh, uh, nowadays, flexi unit image <coughs> abbreviated as PTY models such as Tally, images of stable diffusion Excel have achieved understanding achievement in generating high resolution realistic images. Uh, However, current PTY models only focus on concrete ob objects but ignore the expression of abstract concepts. For example, uh, here we have an abstract concept piece, and people always refer to piece as a white rose and olive, olive branch. Uh, so we want to translate the ab abstract concept to concrete co objects in the prompt. Uh, so the original prompt it is contains a piece, and so we want to we write it to some uh, to some objects in, in, in red, which is which are all concrete. To do so, we train a com compact language model based on GPT two to optimize uh, the prompt and and uh, can understand the abstract concept. Uh, here we propose our 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 method called uh, prompt optimizer for abstract concept. It has two phases. The first is to train a prompt language model, uh, which, which has uh, five steps. The first of all is to prepare the data set to train the model. Uh, first, firstly, we, we write a short sentence for the abstract concept manually. And then we input the original prompt to GPT-4 and, uh, and, and let it to rewrite, rewrite it to, <coughs> to make it contain some concrete concepts. And, uh, uh, step three, GPT-4 can return the, uh, the optimized op optimize the prompt, and the, then we randomly select some uh, modifiers to improve the image quality. Uh, uh, finally, we we train the PLM uh, with the original and the optimized prompt as the input of the out output of the model. Uh, in the second phase, we try to align the Train the PLR with SDXL. Uh, uh, firstly, we input the opti optimize the prompt to SDXL and generate an image. Uh, then we evaluate the alignment and, and the quality of the image with relevant score and the aesthetic score. Uh, then we, we use them as the rewards to fine tune the SDXL with our EFL, which is which is a kind of reinforcement learning. And, and finally, we iterate the above steps until conversion. For the experiment result, we can see that the A is the image generated by SDXL with original prompt, and the C C is generated after the after our proposed PVC and and the fine tuning SDXL with REFL. We can see that uh, uh, the, the 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 new image can better represent the piece with some. Uh, concrete, ob uh, concrete uh, objects like dome and uh, and olive branches, and also if we want to represent honor, uh, uh, we we can see that this lady uh, uh, stands on a podium and wearing a a, a, a medal of honor, so that this this can al we also use some concrete objects to represent the the concept of honor. Uh, for the for for the for, 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 for the for the uh, comparison, we can see that uh, the the math the, the SDXL with our proposed method achieve the state of the art result. Uh, uh, we show that our our uh, our method can really improve the quality of, of the uh, the quality of the image and the alignment with the problem. Thank you for your attention.